and welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for the return of Orzov Troll Knights. We played this three days ago and it was a ton of fun and we got to um, live the dream of playing Clackbridge Troll, giving our opponent three goat creature tokens and then Ethereal Absolution to make those goat tokens go away. And so what we're going to do is we're going to retry the deck. We're going to play it over in ranked. We played a league with it last time. We went five and one, and it was real grindy. Um, it was over three hours. Um, if you missed that, you should check out that video. Also, if you're watching this over on YouTube, you know, go over to my videos page. It's from three days before this video. Um, you know, look for some Orzov Troll Knights. We had a bunch of awesome games. Like I said, there it was, it was a very long league. As far as this goes, we only made one change, and we talked about it at the end of the video last time. I had a one of something, I think a Ritual of Soot. I think I had one of like Ritual of Soot, a card that I just didn't really want kind of ever um, in any matchup. And so we're getting rid of that and instead putting in a third Bola Citadel. So against the control decks, we have the three Bola Citadel um, that we're trying to curve out into that we basically replace like the decks that aren't playing creatures we take out ethereal absolution put in citadels that can cast a whole bunch of stuff for free there hey frisky biscuits with the big time cheer the terminator bonus cheer also for some troll knights thanks frisky biscuits okay well um there we go so that's that's our deck um, let's see how it goes. You know, we have like the good early game with, with the night synergy and everything. And then we got the top end of Clackbridge Troll Ethereal Absolution. Should be fun to play. Let's see how it goes. Hopefully we don't just lose all of our matches this time, but you never know. It's magic. It can happen. Yeah, this is kind of like a, a deck replay theme day. Yeah, like a... A favorites from the week kind of that's what i that's what i'm doing today it's the weekend i want to you can do what you want on the weekend and i want to replay some of these decks that were a lot of fun <laughs> yeah bleeding black yeah we're redoing your your donation deck here yeah if arena could yeah arena probably will troll us and make us lose all of our matches now that i talked it up All right, here we go. Orzov Troll Knights. Okay, we'll be able to hit our land drops. Hitting land drops is cool. Um, I don't really have any teamer deck right now that I'm that I'm currently playing or anything. Um, that's right. I was gonna make a BioS Insider deck. Maybe I make that for tomorrow. Make a little mark for that. But I don't. You know, you said can you send me a, a teamer list? I don't, I don't. I really don't have any teamer list to send you. Yeah, at least we'll be able to cast. Ethereal Absolution, we draw it, so that's good. <laughs> Thanks, Bleeding Black. Oko. I'll shear the wool from your eyes and spin you clarity. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Not really. <laughs> I see how it is. The worthy elk. So they missed their land drop. I could not activate that to help protect Knight. 
from a Wicked Wolf. My opponent probably thinks that they're slowing me down and keeping me from playing all my cards because I'm activating my knight all the time, and they're probably happy about it. But then, but in real, in uh, but realistically, I don't have things to play. All right. So the thing was, the reason why I was fine killing the wolf is because I I didn't, uh, or they they missed their land drop last turn, so like they didn't they didn't just automatically have a land to play Wicked Wolf. All right, so so far we've drawn four lands and a worthy knight. If my if my opponent has another Oko and turns my troll into an elk, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. I definitely hope we draw Ethereal Absolution. Be a good one to draw. Yeah, so I guess they they gained it's like they they sacked that that food to gain four life there basically. Good. Not Oko. And this is where we dig for Ethereal Absolution. Begin to draw two extra cards. We'll just kind of keep on drawing extra cards here. No, my opponent found Oko. Oh, that makes my life a lot worse. Yeah, that makes life a lot worse. Alright, come on, Absolution. That's not fair. They get to find their second Oko before I find my first Absolution. There we go. That's more fair. You don't see you don't see Oko turn things into elks, and then those elks kill w wicked wolves that have counters on them very often. Like when does that ever happen? Your elks kill a wicked wolf with a counter on it. But that's that's where I'm at. Wow. Wow. GG. I think a little merriment is in order. Um. I don't want to play this troll because, yeah, like, I want to get the ethereal absolution in play first. So I guess we're gonna do that because then I can go with the troll next turn. This is my cue to exit. Yeah, Oko would have been a lot more... Yeah, yes, yeah, so it would have been a lot more fair if it was plus one, make a food, minus two, do this. Yes, that would have been a lot much more fair of a card. They don't interact with enchantments? I mean, they just did. They just killed my Ethereal Absolution. My, my opponent's playing Casualties of War. Unfortunately. Hey, Frisky Biscuits, bring in the hype. Y'all get some hype for all of the new subs from Frisky Biscuits. Santa Frisky Biscuits. All right, so yeah, uh, five new subs. Valentino Love, K 
KYSG, Bad Moons, Marciano, and Kasem Boo Boo. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Okay, so sideboard wise. I think I want two to spark and the three grasp, and I cut like one one troll, the Wintermore Commanders, and acclaimed contender. There we go. Alright, that's the plan. Hey nineteen. Nah, paragons are good. Yeah, I, I changed just one card in the sideboard. We took out the Ritual of Soot for another um, for another Bowl of Citadel. Uh, yeah, Blight Beetle is not a good sideboard card, unfortunately. I wish it did more than what it actually does. But no, it's, it's too weak of a card. Being a two-mana 1-1 one, one isn't... Like, a 1-1 one, one isn't, um, isn't impactful enough. The whole they don't cards don't get counters. It's good against Hydroid Crisis, but that's kind of it. It's just Hydroid Crisis, and yeah, sure, a Wicked Wolf doesn't get a counter, but it's not worth a card. It's not worth a valuable slot in your seventy-five. Uh, no, it's not redundant to have both Veil of Summer and Mystical Dispute in your sideboard. No, it's you can use those cards against different things and. Uh, having one mana cards in your sideboard is a, is a good idea. So, yeah, having both them in your sideboard is good. Yep, that's the plan against Boros Knights. Uh, load up on Legion's End. Noxious Grasp isn't too bad. It hits, like, Acclaimed Contender and the Red White Lord. Whatever the name of that thing is. And I guess... Um, and the elephant. It's not too bad, but it's not... Oh, I... Needed to play the castle. That thing's not coming into play. Untapped. Oh, no. Bleh. I just I was talking and I that was my my plan was to play the castle and then I just kind of clicked on the swamp. <laughs> Don't you hate when you do that when you're like planning on doing one thing and you just click on something else? Like in my mind I was going to be playing the the castle and I just clicked on the swamp. Because, yeah, if I would have played the castle first, I could have played the Paragon at end step, and then we wouldn't have to be worrying about going to discard here. One time you clicked Lily minus four instead of minus nine. Ooh, that one, that one really hurts. I mean, all I have to do, if they just play land and then play Casualties of War and destroy a land, though, I'm, I'm pretty dead. Like, me... Keeping a two lander and then my draws being three spells that are not lands probably means I'm dead. What? Spyglass? What are you. What? What are we doing here? Brawl deck for Wednesday! Can we make this a poll? Okay, you can't decide on which deck. Okay, either. Or, or okay, so whether that deck should be a Kiora or a Nissa deck. Okay. Or it should be Kiora or Nissa. So you have two two brawl decks. You can't decide between the two. You like them both. You know what I'm gonna do, KYSG. Too bad we're not doing a poll. I'm playing them both. You've donated for a lot of decks before. And I don't have any donation decks in the queue at all, either. So you know what? I'm just gonna play them both. We'll we'll play two brawl decks on on Wednesday. So there you go. Making a 
a one-time special executive decision that you get you're getting two. So there we go. I just saved them both. I should write it down too, though, just to make sure. But yeah, Wednesday brawl. Why not both? All right, I've already done all these donation decks, so I'm crossing them out. Okay, choose your blockers. None. Wait, they chose Ethereal Absolution? No, but, no, look at these cards here, Kendis. Like, they, Sorcerer Spyglass, you get to see the hand. Like, they know about all these cards in my hand. They know about everything except for the Absolution. Because, you know, you see, like, the little revealed thing. You have revealed this card. I, I was just assuming they were going to say Soren. But, like, Ethereal, so, like, that only stops that ability. I don't even care about that ability. It doesn't even matter. You had somebody named Fires and Veteran with Spyglass earlier today. Yeah, that's not a good name with Spyglass. Alright, so we drew seven cards, and one of them was a land. So our first seven cards, we kept two lands. Our next seven cards only had one land. I mean, Legion Zen's good against Krasis, but I don't really want Legion Zen for like mana creatures and stuff. Maybe I don't need the two to Sparks. I assume they're playing four Nissas. We don't really see Nissas. I'll take out the Spark. I'm going to play one Duress. I'm going to get this Casualties of War. The Sparks mostly, yeah, it's for Wicked Wolf and Nyssa. Those are the two cards it's for. I'd, I'm not really scared of Questing Beast. Um, when I'm playing Black Blacklands Paragon is like the anti-Questing Beast card. I'm not too scared of that, but Wicked Wolf obviously can, can be a problem. Yeah, so Duress can get rid of... Um, yeah, Oko, Nissa, Veil of Summer. Uh, you know, we saw them there have Noxious Grasp and Spyglass, and we've seen Casualties of War. Like, they seem to have a lot of spells. The Spyglass I don't care about as much, but all the rest of them. Yeah, Spyglass is just like Pithing Needle. Uh, for the most... It's... Almost the same. It's there's a little difference. Like, Spy, like Pithing Needle stops everything. Um, Spyglass doesn't stop mana abilities. It's like you can you can Pithing ne basically you can Pithing Needle Paradise Druid. Spyglass doesn't work with Par Paradise Druid. I 
<laughs> when people Spyglass or Ego your Demir deck, they always choose Narset or Bolas, and I don't have either. All right. Also, another thing: don't ever, don't ever do what my opponent's doing here with Once Upon a Time. Never, never cast Once Upon a Time on your opponent's turn like that, unless you have something else that you're going to play immediately. But just, just draw your card first. You always want the most information whenever you have to make decisions. So always just draw your card, and then decide what you want to take. Certain you're quite charmed to meet me. <laughs> Surely you see the humor here. Ooh, I feel so alive. <laughs> right whenever Oka said I feel so alive, the song said the words feel so alive. Welcome that is to crazy. That was unexpected. So I think I have to hold up to Spark for Wolf. So they didn't have another land. Interesting. So now we can kill... Uh, I'd like to play the troll, but we need to make sure we kill Oko, so... The ring of my sword is your death now. So it's a game you're interested in. Time for a drink. Mm, you're too close Alright, Soaring gets to kill the Oko. No! Brontodon. Hmm. Donald over here wants to take down my absolution. Something I absolutely don't want to happen. No, I'm not playing Hushbringer. Nope. We have a couple ETB creatures with Blacklands Paragon, Acclaimed Contender. I think I should Murderous Rider kill the Brontodon first before Absolution? Question marks? I should do this before choosing whether or not to attack, because if they have Veil of Summer to protect, 
then I don't attack, but if the, you know, if they don't have Veil of Summer like that, then I can go ahead and attack. Yeah, they won't get goats if if you play Hushbringer, but honestly, like we we like the the slots that Hushbringer takes up, we need to play knights, like for all of our other knight synergies for like acclaimed contender and everything, and it's just not worth it. Like we we have the ethereal absolutions that stopped the goats anyway. Like we're good. I am poor. Uh, no, you cannot. No, you have to have a target to sacrifice. You can't just pay one and then sacrifice it with no target. You have to have a target there. They could have made a food and sacked it and destroyed their own food. But you, you have to have a target. They can't just sacrifice so I don't get the other half of Murderous Rider. Yeah, this is our deck can gain a good amount of life. This is why... This is why, like, the, the three Citadel on the sideboard are really good. Will come one day. All right. You don't see... You don't usually see people casting casualties of war and then conceding. That's not a sight that happens often. All right, so they had, they had turn one Goose, turn two Noxious Grasp, turn three Oko, turn four Wicked Wolf. And we got there, okay. And we actually used one creature to attack Oko. <laughs> I, and I only played one creature before the Wicked Wolf. Uh, well, I guess I played two creatures. One got Noxious Grasped. Our, our one creature, our one drop, killed the Oko. <laughs> our opponent was obviously the casualty of that war. Good call, good call. No goose. No, stop. No. I don't know, this is probably the wrong play. I was, I'm thinking of like going turn two Worthy Knight, turn three half Paragon and Knight of the Ebon Legion and be able to make two extra one ones. Uh, yep, definitely withdrawing that's the wrong play. Well, I mean, I guess I, yeah, I guess I wouldn't have three untapped mana. Boo. Um. My favorite color for the fox? I guess I like this one. I never really changed the fox too much. Not as much as I changed the cat. We'll stick with black here, though. So the fox only has three colors? Yeah, okay, good. I wasn't crazy. I was, like, trying to think of, like, okay, white, blue, black, red, green. Like, the cat had, like, the five colors of magic. But I was like, there's not really a white. It's like, I guess that's red, that's blue, that's black. But I was like, there's not really a green or a white. Okay, cool. That wasn't just me. Oh, 
All right. My opponent looks like looks like they got this one on the play game one. Yeah, you, you click this this color bottle over here to change the color. You can't change your opponents though. The fox will get mad. It's like, hey, don't touch that. What you doing? I guess that's that's how wizards can say that there's less green on arena because there's there's never any green foxes. No, attack with that paradise druid. What are you doing? Why are they attacking with the paradise druid? I mean, I have to just draw a Murderous Rider. It's like my only way to get rid of this Nissa. I can't get through this Wicked Wolf at all. Okay. I'll be good. There's not really any use in attacking into... So, like, basically... So, they're going to be able to ultimate Nissa. If they want. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Another ethereal absolution would be an amazing draw to get rid of these geese. I'll say maybe I shouldn't have even taken this troll. When the land speaks, I shall listen. Yeah, we we won against Anissa Ultimate last time with triple. Ethereal Absolution. Maybe I should put the troll to the bottom, because it, it kind of is. I, I just need Ethereal Absolutions. Because I guess this Wicked Wolf could, you know, turn into a million million creature. I protect that which cannot protect itself. The land fights for us. So they could have Behold, nature's true power. They could have turned the wicked wolf into a 9/9 nine -nine there. You know, they have the 7. Hmm. 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Hawkeye. I'll move you. Well, this is actually looking good for us. With them sacking those geese. And them not being aggressive with the wolf. The land shall conquer you. A second Nissa ultimate doesn't do anything, right? Eleven lands already? Ugh. Twelve lands? Gross. Twelve lands and twenty-one cards that we've seen. Um life. I was like, what instant are they trying to play? Brazen Barber. Be wary of the ground you walk on. So many lands. I mean, my opponent ultimate Nissa, that's why they have so many lands. The land shall conquer you. And they finally figured out they should be attacking with these things. I need a Soren. I need a Soren.
I mean, Legion's End doesn't really do that much. I mean, we get rid of two of these. I need Soren. I need other more Ethereal Absolution. Like those are the two cards I need: Soren or Ethereal Absolution. That one's not bad as far as cards go. That's not bad. Because, like, I need to be able to play the Murderous Rider as a life-linking blocker. Oh, that's bad. Yep. That's what that means. Once Upon a Time is a good and fair card. Well, I mean, if we didn't draw 15 lands, we probably could have won this, even with the Nissa ultimate. Unfortunately, we drew 15 lands. We almost have as many lands as our opponent who ultimated Nissa and put, like, 10 lands into play with it. Why kill Nissa with Knight? Because Nissa was going to continue to make indestructible 2-2s. Two and also the Nissa in play. You know, like they, so they would have drawn Nissa this last turn. The spirit... No, they were ether gusting. They were, ether, they were putting their Nissa back on top of their library. That's what they were doing, is they were putting they were putting Nissa back on top of their library. They cast the Ether Gust on their own Nissa. They didn't have an extra nine life with all these food tokens. I could like maybe attack out, but the fact they get an extra nine life.
I think there's a better chance that my opponent messes up this co combat somehow than I win the game otherwise. Why attack? Because I'm not going to win this game. And I think this is my best shot. My opponent just drew four cards off Hydroid Crisis. They don't have any. They don't have like lands left in their deck. They're going to have four good cards. I'm not going to. And they they have all these food tokens and everything. I'm not going to be winning this. Like this game's over. And I, so I'm going with a last last ditch effort here. They did not mess up the blocking. Yeah, Brazen Borrower ended that game too. Uh, we we're going to be like taking lethal the next we we're going to be taking lethal with ethereal labs with them having brazen bar where i was taking lethal i couldn't stay alive with the crisis attack even the next turn All right, so yeah, Brazen Borrower is a little rough for my Ethereal Absolution plan. Just a little rough. Yeah, Krasis has Trample. Yeah, I mean, that attack was, was not a good attack. But I didn't, I didn't have good options for winning that game. All right, so doing the, this, the same sideboard plan I've been doing against all the Oko decks so far. Bringing in Noxious Grass into Sparks. And not all of them, just a couple. But yeah, Nissa Ult. You got me. I mean, well, kind of drawing 15 lands is kind of what got us. Yeah, it'll be real interesting to see what they do on the 18th. Wizards has been listening to the players. And, you know, they're at the, the Mythic Championship talking to the players there that are all saying that green is much too good. And they can see that green decks are 85% of the standard metagame in the Mythic Championship. So it'll be real interesting to see what they do for the, for the banning on the 18th. It's not poison. Trust me. It's not fair. <laughs> and before Noxious Grasp gets banned. Yes, 69% of the decks are Oko decks, but 85% are green if you, you know, you count like Golgari Adventures, Gruul Aggro. Also, like add those up, it's 85%. Hmm.
Definitely could have used another black source there. So I wanted to wait till end step. Usually, you know, usually we do, I'd do this like right away before they Face. untap and have the multiple mana. But I want to have the Knight of the Ebon Legion be a blocker for the three-three there. I don't like this attack that I just did. So I'm just going to play this Murderous Rider. Yeah, they didn't make up food while Nissa was alive. I guess, I guess they wanted to leave the 3-3 back as a blocker, I suppose. Assuming this is Brazen Borrower here. I'll get some lifelinkers in play. Absolution would be a nice card to see, but of course I know I'm not getting that. Alright, good. Not another Not another Brazen Borrower, that's good. Maybe I should have just played the troll instead of doing that cute move. Yeah. Let's just play this thing. Why do they want me to have Murderous Rider? They can kill their borrower. How does that even make sense? They're like, hey, here's some removal from my 3-1 three, three that's killing you right now. Am I missing something? Am I missing something there? I feel like they have like negates. That's gotta be it, right? Like they gotta have like negates. If I attack with Paragon, it gets blocked with a 1 1. I don't wanna trade Paragon for a 1 1 when there's a 3 3. It's not a good attack. Gotta just have negate. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I 
Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Yeah, it could be like Veil vale of Summer also. This Gilded Goose card's pretty good. Let's veil summer. I'd really like to draw another land here. I really want to have eight mana and I can double Soren, so you know if the first Soren gets counter, I can play the other one. Please don't counter it. Please don't counter it. Please don't counter it. Yay! That's good for me. I don't actually lose life with my creatures dying to Midnight Reaper because uh, it's my turn. My creatures have life link, so Midnight Reaper has life link. So like Midnight Reaper's trigger is whenever creatures die, it deals one damage to me, and I draw a card. But the Reaper is going to have life link when it's dealing the one damage to me. All right, got that game.
You belong to me now. Yeah, lifelink was clutch. Honestly, the troll was pretty clutch. Like, that that troll, we gained nine life and drew three cards because, you know, they sacked each one of the goats to the troll. And, you know, at the end, towards the end of that game, we were not at a very high life total, so that nine life was pretty important. Um, it's kind of a problem playing Worthy Knight right now and just letting Wicked Wolf kill it. I don't know why that thing has to be a card. Veil of Summer, that is. Walk with me, sing with me. And this I is why I only played two of my three to sparks. This is not that great of a to spark matchup. Because uh, I can't even kill Loco. I invite you to change your way. are exhausting. None of their stuff can be disparked. I'm a little surprised they boarded in Lovestruck Beast, though, also knowing that, you know, I played Ethereal Absolution. But I guess they don't know that I have four Ethereal Absolutions, probably. They probably don't realize that. on a couple of lands. Worthy Knight. 
More worthy knights. I guess I could have attacked this one one, but eh, they would just block with the goose. I'll just block with the goose. Yay! Okay. So they've all been really, really close matches, but we're actually 5-0 and against Oko decks with this deck. Because we were 3-0 we were against Oko decks last time that we played it, and now today we're 2-0. and Both against Simic, Oko, Splashing Colors, or whatever. All right, I'm going to reset Arena. It's been an hour, 10 minutes. It's it's kind of acting up. Yeah, the Worthy Knights have been very impressive. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> yep. Hero of Precinct 1 got, has to trigger itself. It's it's harder just to put... I mean, there's there's less knights in the like to put into a deck than multicolor cards, though, to be fair. Yeah, Troll has worked well as a top end value engine. Yeah, it has. I like it. All right, so far so good, 2 and 0. So I think we're just playing the knight on turn one, even though it it doesn't trigger worthy knight. Yeah. This is my turn three play. No matter what we do on turn two, this is the turn three play. What you gonna spike glass? Castle Ardenvale. That'd be a good card to choose. Don't want me making creatures. No, Castle Lock Twain. Fair enough. Yeah, they could have named Knight of the Ebon Legion. It's true. Yeah, I'm guessing they probably should have just named Knight of the Ebon Legion if they were willing to Oath of Kaya it. Also, kind of why you don't have to just play Spyglass immediately on turn two. Don't have to. Correct. Mana abilities mean things that produce mana. So, like Paradise Druid. Correct. That's a mana ability. Is an ability that produces mana, not an ability that costs mana.
I should have just gone with the, like the Wintermore Commander here, or just passed. Yeah, I should I should play Wintermore Commander instead of Worthy Knight because because of the Doom Foretold. All right, now I'm glad I played Worthy Knight. I have this extra one one just in case that can kill Teferi. Yeah, I mean, that was my plan, was to flash in Paragon to sack Paragon. That was my plan. But yeah, I'm, I'm, now I'm glad we have the Worthy Knight, so we have this extra 1-1 one, one that can kill a Teferi that minuses. Bouncer's Spyglass. Okay. Might be a bad idea. No. Another day. Ah, uh, Soren. Like the reason why I sacrificed Midnight Reaper earlier is because Soren was going to bring back Midnight Reaper. That's a great draw for our opponent. Yeah, those are those are just perfect. That was a really great turn for them. This is a really good turn for me. That was a really good draw for me. I really didn't need to play that. I probably shouldn't have played it. I don't know. Maybe I should have, because I'm going to be boarding it out. So this is this is more why we have Disparks. Exile those Doom Foretolds. Get those things out of here. All right, so we're going to also take out... Couple riders and the commanders. Should I just take out all the riders? I mean, they're that deck usually plays like a Liliana or two, and obviously the Teferi. I'll keep in two riders. I mean, you just have to have a critical mass of things for a claimed contender to not only hit, but also creatures to be able to play before a claimed contender. 
I mean, I think Commander is the best two drop. I mean, you could play Corpse Knight also. Um, I like Commander more though. Yeah, this, yeah, the Disparks are basically for the enchantments: w Wilderness Reclamation, Doom Foretold, and Fires of Invention. Mostly what those are for. That's a good scry. Like I'm glad that we see a land there that we put an extra land down to the bottom because that's I'm I'm glad that we get rid of a land. So, you know, I'd rather you know, like so that's that's a good scry to see. Seeing more land though on the other hand not so great. Attack. A second copy of Legion's End would be kind of bad for me now that we just drew this other Paragon. Off flash. I don't know. I should maybe just put that on the bottom. You know, it's, you know, it's a it's a really good creature. Bola Citadel is the is my number one card to look for and or find right now. I'm expecting, like, how they just haven't been playing things. I'm expecting them to have, you know, maybe multiple Kaya's Wraths. They're kind of waiting for me to have multiple creatures. So, yeah, I was definitely expecting a Kaya's Wrath there. Um, if I would have played the Knight, then it would have been easier to activate the Castle. But I think the Knight's just going to be a lot better card. 
for me. I'll taste your neck. You taste my blade. My bloodlust not embrace. Troll time. <laughs> Gotta draw me those cards. Now, all right, taking it. Just block with one goat. So yeah, they they, they kind of have to kill the troll, and maybe they have doom, you know doom for toll or whatever, or not. So want to get value out of Soren before they kill Soren potentially. Paragon's not like the best thing to minus. But we've seen them, you know, have removal spells for Soren. See, Paragon works. So good chance they have something like Liliana. It's possible. So we'll be able to play this Midnight Reaper also in case of Wrath. Ooh, that's good. That gets rid of Liliana. These trolls are just good. They're just good card advantage engines, you know? Good card advantage engine. And life gain. Like, we've gained nine life and drawn three cards from them so far. Yeah, they definitely have Liliana. Like, every, every one of these decks I've ever seen has, like, they always have Liliana. But it's usually, a, it's usually just a one of. So you don't always see it. But yeah, so I guess you're saying rarely play, like, yeah, rarely cast it with it just being a one of. No, that was me with the, the frames thing. Yeah, like, whenever there's lag on there, you, you can you can just assume it's me. It's a fair assumption.
No dance for you. Never gonna dance again. His guilty feet have got no rhythm. I don't really seem to make sense to play Worthy Knight. It's only back up to 29. I don't think the life loss from Castle matters too much. All right, the trolls. Getting us there. I guess we're getting pretty close to Mythic now. Skipped frames yet again. <laughs> it's like it's like skipped for you know, Streamlabs is like skip frames detected twenty percent, like a minute ago, thirteen minutes ago, twenty nine minutes ago, forty one minutes ago, an hour, an hour. It's like yes, I understand. Yeah, yeah, I don't think that spyglass is a good that good of an option anymore. I mean, we just reset 20 minutes ago. GG, Stanley. GG's. Um, we'll try to play another one. Yeah, every Spyglass you've seen today has done nothing yet. Um, I know, yeah, that's basically how it's been for, like, close to a week now. I, every Spyglass that I've seen played at all has done nothing. And I've played a couple of decks with Spyglasses in the board, and... I've like never wanted them and or if I've played them they've been terrible. Hey VS Leona. Welcome to the channel. Thank you so much there, Frisky Biscuits. I appreciate that. Um I think with double worthy knight and being on the play, we're gonna wait for this night, because I can have go worthy, then untap worthy, Evan Legion, and Volt Sparkle. Thank you so much there, Volt, Volt Sparkle. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, your, your plan was Spyglass for the, the castle, the the land that I was drawing a lot of cards with. That, that was your plan? Makes sense. I did draw a lot of cards with that land. That certainly does make sense. But even even like this deck, like how my what my opponent's playing, somebody says you want Spyglass for Witch's Oven. The the top eight Rakdos deck that people are going to be playing had four Angrass Rampage in the main deck. They'll just make you sacrifice an artifact. Well, I do have four main deck Ethereal Absolutions. So speaking of something to stop the... Cauldron Familiar combo. Now, I need a sixth land, and I need to draw Ethereal Absolution. A Claim Contender does not help me do such a thing. Going real wide. Too wide for Priest of Forgotten Gods. Yeah, triple oven versus triple worthy knight. Or does it... It's just trips. <laughs> Chef Rakdos. It's 
a little greedy. They put, you know, took down an extra blocker here. Ooh, that's kind of good for me. Honestly. Each time they do this, they have to lose a life and draw a card. That's kind of kind of good for me. Could be a lot of life loss. If I attack out and they go block, 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 that's two, four, ten. I guess they kind of gain a life each time this comes back, though. That is true. This amount of white mana and lack of black mana is sad. No, my opponent cannot kill me on the backswing. problematic also Well, yeah, the, like playing the troll doesn't even help me because it just gives them creatures to um, use with like priests and everything. Oh, yeah, I guess, yeah, they have to sacrifice there. Okay, so they're not going to be killing my knight. This is, this... This thing's currently blocked. 
So is this. Like, these are blocked. I could do an extra point of damage if I sacrifice one of those and not this, but it's not going to be lethal anyway. Yeah, they got me there. All right, so yeah, definitely really hoping we draw these ethereal absolutions this time. I don't think the Clackbridge Troll is, is good here basically at all unless we have ethereal absolution, which is a little unfortunate. So I think that that's what I'm going to be sideboarding out. The thing is, I don't really want anything else. I mean, Murder Riders aren't amazing, but they can have like Judith and Mayhem Devil, some cards that we have to exile. All right, so let's give this a try. I mean. It Attack with the Ebon. If we don't attack with the Ebon Legion, they don't. They don't actually have to block with their, with the one two. I wasn't gonna survive because, yeah, they, they didn't have to block with the priest. Man, what are these hands? All I want are lands and ethereal absolution after a bunch of lands. We have to have a bunch of lands though. Okay, there's a bunch of lands. Easy six with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Easy Six. I appreciate that. If that was a white land, I would have put it down to the bottom, but we need two black for a lot of cards. Worthy Knight gets Ebon Legion. I, I even I just said that way wrong. It gets Legions ended. All right, Ethereal Absolution, anytime now. Anytime. We're, we're good on the whole draw lands thing now. We're good. I don't need more. We got four absolutions in here. I uh, I can't I basically can't Legion's End because of Oh you're asking when's my opponent gonna Legion's End, I don't know. But I couldn't Legion's End because of the Witch's Oven.
That's bad for me that they have this black castle. Black castle is more. more valuable than White Castle in their current situation. Yeah, I guess I should have just blocked the 3-2 also. Suffering gets in eh? No, like they they would have got the gutter bones back if I didn't block, because they Judith trigger would have just dealt one damage to me. They still would have got gutter bones back. Well, we're out of planes. There's six planes in the deck. We've drawn every single one. So we're out of those. It has kind of been that the only games that we've been losing with this deck are games that we have like horrendous land draws. Um... Blue King, thank you so much. I mean, we have we have four ethereal absolution. We have four of them. You know, like they only have four cauldron familiars. Only have four witches ovens. They get to draw all theirs. Oh, I have four. Can't we just draw one? One of these games. We have four. Yeah, I only have one more turn. Instead, we have, you know, 11 lands here. Can we just get an ethereal absolution? Here it is. Another land. Killing me. Yeah, third... 13 of our 18. No, 12. 12 out of 18? 12 out of 18 have been lands, but I also put two spells down to the bottom. So it's it's kind of been like 12 out of 20 because we mold the five, so I put two spells down to the bottom. So if you count those two spells at the bottom, it's been half of our lands in the top third of the deck, which happens. But I would just wish we had one of our four ethereal absolutions. lethal so basically i have to block the cat but then it dies but then they bring it back with this and then sack it one two three my opponent probably thinks that that's like a really good matchup for them they probably are like man my opponent has nothing for for that they probably don't have, you know they they just probably just don't realize that we have four main deck ethereal absolutions and they drew three witches ovens both games out of those four, and I drew none. Ugh. 
Okay. So let's let's reset again. After that, basically I have to reset every two matches. You love Aristocrats deck, but Cat Oven is really annoying. Hmm. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of annoying with just all the clicks. You know, it takes a whole lot of clicks, and it's a lot of, you know, whatever things. But I, I honestly don't mind it. I think it's kind of cool. <clears throat> I wish it was, like, easier to do it. Like, if it just auto-sacked a food, you don't have to choose your food each time kind of thing or, or something. I don't know. Which they made it a little faster. <laughs> the deck lives to the, to its name. It trolled your your draws. Yeah. Vitellius. Thanks there, Vitellius. All right. Well, now. I mean, if if I knew we were hitting six land drops, this would be nice. If I if I know that we're if we basically if I know that we're gonna draw exactly what we drew last game, I would snap keep this. This hand's awesome. I think on the play I'm mulliganing, but since we're on the draw, I'm gonna keep it because our cards are really good. Yeah, basically we just need to get to five mana for these trolls, but still even before that, Worthy Knight and Knight of the Ebon Legion are two awesome cards. Like they're they're like our best knights. All right, first land. Let's keep going. Let's draw swamp. All right, looks like blue white control. So good. We we draw our seriously. You want to auto tap my one black source when I have a one drop? We draw our ethereal absolution against the deck with no creatures instead of the deck with tons of one toughness creatures. So that's great. Ugh. So I really hope they don't have counter magic plus time wipe. That's the that's the first bad card. If I could choose one of the two, I'd rather them have time wipe than counter magic. So if we just resolve Midnight Reaper, draw a bunch of cards. Nope. Worst case scenario, they had counter magic plus time wipe. Sure, why not? Sorry, I'm late. So this is where hopefully we draw a land and get to play Soren to kill Teferi. Nope. These have been the only games that we've lost is whenever we've had, you know, like 12 lands or 3 lands with this deck. So I like the, what we got going on here. So I could have drawn an extra land if I would have done this first, but maybe they don't block and they're, they're Gadwick. All I have to do is cast a blue spell, tap my Midnight Reaper, the Gadwick kills the Soren. I've got time. Hey. 
That was uncalled for. Feed the straw. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Absolution can kill that thing. Curse you and your progeny. Likely picking it back up with time wipe. I'm known for my excellent timing. That's more like it. We will meet again. Yeah, you're right. We are gonna meet again. I know my responsibility. No, I am not making this up as I go. No black mana to be able to play the Ebon Legion also. Let's try this. Same old, same old. Can't play instance. So I did want to play the Clackbridge Troll before the bar works. I don't want them bouncing the Clackbridge Troll. I have a plan. Sideboard time. So unfortunately, the uh, Disparks aren't nearly as good here, but we will be able to have the Grasps to try to slow down Teferi. Um... Does make me want to play Ryder more, though, as well. I'm going to take out a couple Clackbridge trolls.
Bert. Yo, welcome back, Bert. Burly man with the resub there, number 22. That Selesnia deck in best of one there. Selesnia Knights. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I like it. So right now I don't have another knight for acclaimed contender. Which does make that card a whole lot worse. I could just play it out as a three mana three three here. So, I mean, I think they have counter magic 100%. Don't have any white mana. They could have sabotage. We saw mystical dispute last game, though. Wow, not actually any counter magic. Um, that's just creature or planeswalker. Huh. Well, this is it. That was pretty cool. That card's pretty cool. I'm glad we have all the Noxious Grasps and everything still in. Could be playing a Legion's End because of Finale of Glory. But... All right, even though the sun set at 5.30, you had a very productive day selling ice cream. That's awesome. Good job. Your last weekend maybe doing it, though. Oh, it is getting cold. We are in November, which everybody knows is no ice cream November. That'd be a bad month. <laughs> oh, thanks, Lightest Mage.
Pearl Blue Soul. Sold zero nutty buddies today. Boo. They're on a mold of five. Their scry is going to be pretty important. I don't even know if that important. I think that basically, I, th I think I should be duressing on turn two and not turn one. So I played Duress on turn one. I'm only looking at four cards. Uh, then we drew Worthy Knight. Well, now I have to Duress on turn one. Yeah. It's a bad time to Duress. You know, there's, they just don't have very many cards. But unfortunately, I just have like a perfect curve out here. So I just have to cast it then. So I already have the rest of my turns lined up, ready to go. Do you think a flicker deck would be much stronger if Oko was banned? Not necessarily. Flicker effects are usually... I mean, they you can flicker your, your own elks and stuff. I mean, everything that is... To be honest, everything that is not Oko is going to be better without Oko, right? Nah, that's not... It's not everything, but... Most everything. If you're playing expensive creatures, then yes, you're going to be better without Oko. Uh, that's rough. A lot more cards. Kind of wish I waited on that duress. So if they if they have the greatness of time of deputy of detention is if they have time wipe, they get to pick it back up. Yeah, if just Oko is banned, the Ar Simic is still going to be the strongest archetyped, but you're you're probably going to just move towards a Cavalier of Thorns gets a whole lot better with no Oko, um, and so you probably just go go to a lot more ramp with Risen Reef, Cavalier of Thorns, and of course your Nessa Krasis, Mass Manipulation, Agent of Treachery, all those really fun cards. If just Oko is banned. That shell I will likely be top deck. Blood. The good news is that those cards are a lot easier to go under than with Oko. It's a lot easier to go under those. So yeah, it's, it's better for aggro. That's worse for control. Control... Um... Like those those kind of cards are really hard for control to beat, honestly. Like Cavalier Thorns. In particular. You know, with that Risen Reef. Embrace the bloodlust.
But of course, that's just like the two color combination. It, those colors can still pretty easily play three colors. So it's basically how, how can you play those that can beat aggro? May death find you so, you know, like maybe the move towards Bant for anti aggro cards. Or, or what? But that that's kind of that's kind of like where the new um, tension would be. Um, in my opinion, at least to start with, and we'll kind of you know kind of work from there basically. All right. Well, anyway, Orzov Troll Knights was awesome. Yeah, really impressed with Orzov Troll Knights here. 4 1 in ranked, where our only loss had ridiculously bad mana trouble with just, you know, we had three land game one for a while and then, you know, mold a five into mold a five into hitting our twelfth land drop. Game two, where, you know, we lost to Cauldron Familiar with our four main deck ethereal absolution, where if we could just could have just drawn one of those, our life would have been pretty easy. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, but really strong. Yeah, we beat, we beat Oko Dex twice, uh, beat, uh, the, and so now we're 5-0 against Oko Dex with this deck, which is pretty crazy. The games have been really, really close, like all three, like, they've usually been like three game matches and they've always been really close, like, you know, a draw step here, a draw step there kind of thing, but we've just, we've come out on top every time against the Yoko decks here with Clackbridge Troll and Ethereal Absolution doing a whole lot of work um, for those matchups there. And then we also beat just a couple of control decks. Um, but yeah, this deck's, this, deck's, this deck's good. I think this one maybe this deck could be real. This deck's pretty good. Um, yeah, the troll, yeah, the Trolls are value engine even when it's not attacking. So many games, you know, just this... Because, you know, it's hard to hit six land drops normally, except for we've had a couple of games where we flood out. But normally it's hard to hit six land drops. We're playing 25 lands. And a lot of times, you know, like, we'll get to this card, have our five lands where this, um, you know, like, they they sacrifice a goat. We gain three life, draw a card. Like, that, that actually, it just buys us time to stay alive, gaining three life, drawing a card each turn. Lets us hit our six land drop. Lets us, or, and or find Ethereal Absolution. You know, like, those kind of things. Lets us play Ethereal Absolution. Um, I have to say that I've been super impressed with this card against the green decks. I didn't think this card was going to be nearly as good as it has been, especially just stacking them. You know, like we, you get one down against the green deck, and then now suddenly um, it's a lot harder for them to just to, to win the combat. Um, you know, suddenly your worthy knight is bigger than their Nissa animated land, right? Because your worthy knight's a 3 3, their land's a 2 2 kind of thing. And suddenly combat's a lot harder for them. You get a second one down, and now their Gilded Gooses are gone. They can't make food anymore. Um, and then everything's just like a 1-1 one, one on their side. And then you get a third one down, which we, we did that for. Then all their Elks and all their lands that are Nissa lands, everything, they're just gone. We did beat... That was the last time we beat Nissa Ultimate by just playing three Ethereal Absolutions. <laughs> We're just like, nice, nice indestructible lands. They're all dead. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, pretty sweet deck here. So that's awesome. All right, good job, Hawkeye. Orzov Troll Knights getting a 4-1 over in ranked. Almost getting us to Mythic. We're almost there. Um, getting pretty close. Diamond Tier 2. You know, it uh, reset at the beginning of the month. Thanks, Frisky Biscuits. Thanks for the cheers. Uh, don't they try to elk the troll? Yeah, they, yeah, that can definitely happen. Yep. Um... We've done pretty good at like you know being able to pressure Oko with like all this early all these early creatures. We've done good at pressuring Oko. Um, of course, we have the murderous riders for removal also. But then also if you if you can play a, a lot of times like if it's later on in the game, we try to play Ethereal Absolution first and then play Troll where they don't get the goats, and so then so then this thing can just you know kill a Planeswalker as a nine nine trample haste right away where or they have to like sacrifice their own real creatures. Um, 
and then hopefully like our other creatures are pressuring. Yeah, we've we've done pretty good against the Okos, basically. All right, yeah, we're gonna get some Mardu enchantments going here now. All right, so if you're watching on YouTube, hey, there we go. Had to outdo Frisky Biscuits. Thanks, Sin Christ. Uh, if if you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave some comments. If you're playing the deck, also I've seen a couple people playing it. We've played against it. Um, let me know how it's going for you. How you're liking the Orzov Troll Knights? Okay. Um, anyway, again for y'all on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.